everyone, Jason Schaber here of M0A.com, knocking out some clearing turns. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you power on stalls. You say the word stall sometimes, and we as student pilots, and we're all student pilots, right, tend to get a little bit nervous, especially when it's concerning a power on stall. Well, I'm gonna show you first off a great way to kind of work our way into it. But most importantly, I want you to remember this. We practice stalls to practice recoveries. Your instructor, your check ride examiner doesn't care how you get into the stall. They care how you recover from the stall. We're going to take this to a full break. I know some people will, will take it to the first sign of a stall, to the warning horn, to a buffet, sloppy controls, whatever it is. But we're going to take this all the way to a full break just to show what that's like. So my clearing turns are complete. I'm, I've cruised the airplane out, I've got it trimmed up, I want to be able to fly this airplane hands-free, make everything super easy, super simple. And what am I doing with the power on stall? What am I trying to simulate? I'm simulating, I've just taken off, maybe ATC told me to expedite my climb, I'm cranking back, I'm cranking back, I forget, and I end up stalling the airplane. That's what I'm simulating with the power on stall. But maybe you're nervous to go full power right off the bat. Well, we can work our way into that, but let's make it, I know we practice stalls to practice recoveries, but let's make it as realistic as possible. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring the power back and work to slow us down to rotation speed. A lot of mistakes people make is they just go from this cruise at 90 knots, 90 miles an hour, whatever it may be, and just yank the airplane back. That makes for a very abrupt break. Let's make it as realistic as possible. I'm throwing it, slowing down. I rotate about 60. So I'm bringing the power back. My flaps are up. I don't take off in this airplane with flaps in, this, in a normal configuration. I'm having to maintain a little bit of back pressure to maintain this. I'm trying my best not to lose altitude. I'm maintaining right here. I'm getting down to my rotation speed of about 60. Here comes 60. And let's say, okay, I just rotated. And let's not quite go full power. Let's work our way into it here. I'm about 80% power, as you can see right here on the EI. And I'm just pitching back. I'm pitching back. I'm coming up. There's my warning horn. My controls are kind of starting to get sloppy, if you look at that. Coming up, and there's my brake. And I just, what I do, I push the nose down and really bring it to 100% power as I'm doing that, and I recover. Not that scary and pretty simple. Kept the airplane coordinated and everything was fine. Let's go ahead, let's do the same thing again, and let's, again, you're babing your way into eventually going full power. So, same set of circumstances here. I'm gonna bring the power back. Don't start pulling back now because you're gonna end up climbing here. Just maintain. Just look to maintain on the VSI, right? Just maintain. Slowing down here, nice and easy. I'm just I'm going through 70, you can watch right over here. I'm slowing the airplane on down, double checking everything, also looking below you when you're doing stalls, especially. 62, slowing down, here comes 60, I just rotate, let's go full power here. I need a little bit of right rudder to compensate for that left turning tendency. The nose wants to go up naturally, I'm not getting any faster, I'm getting slower, slower, ATC gave me this crazy vector, I'm up, 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 nice and calm, nice and calm, and there's my brake, and I just push it forward. Just like that. Build up that airspeed, hold it, I can hold it here, right? I got altitude, I can, I can burn in this case a little bit. And I can hold it here, and I can go ahead and recover. Now, remember, I trimmed up for that previous RPM setting. So if I let go of it now, that nose wants to go right back up. I'm holding a lot of back pressure, so I need to bring that power back to where it was, and that'll put me back in that appropriate trim setting with a little adjustment, and I'm back to cruise flight just like that. Power on stalls don't have to be intimidating. They don't have to be scary. There's something you need to practice. Hey, two exciting things happening this month at M0A.com. First off, we're giving away a Bose headset all this month. There is a, a link in the description below this video. There's links all to it, so you can sign up for that. And on October 1st at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm giving that away live on Facebook and YouTube. Don't need to be present uh, to win, uh, but do sign up so you can get that. Also, if landings are an issue for you, I'm doing a Facebook and a YouTube live stream called The Secret to Perfect Landings. That is going to be on September 27th. 
and that's at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. If you go to the M0A Facebook page, you go to the M0A YouTube page, you'll see uh, that scheduled event there. But be sure to follow us, like us on Facebook. Be sure to subscribe to us as well if you're watching this on YouTube so you can get all those alerts and updates. Can't wait to read your comments below this video. Tell me more about your experiences with power on stalls. Enjoy the rest of your day, and most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. We'll see ya. I sincerely hope you loved watching this video. These videos you see online are simply just the tip of the iceberg of what we do here at M0A.com. M0A is a complete private instrument commercial, and FOI online ground school. Everything is done at your own pace online. You watch our lessons, also online, take practice exams, all from any device. If you love these free videos we put out here on YouTube and Facebook, I encourage you to check out our complete online ground school for the knowledge test, check ride, and most importantly, setting you up to make you that safe real world pilot. Take a two-week free trial, no strings attached, of our online ground school by visiting m0a.com forward slash trial.